by Agustino Stephen Lawrence Ramadani. The tribunal investigating the conduct of the suspended Deputy Chief Justice was formed in January this year, but it was only until the second of this month that it began its hearings. And when it did, Kerubo got a road shock. My colleague Mr. Maosa went there, made an application to represent Kerubo. That application was rejected. The reason was given is that uh, our client is a mere witness. Myself, the following day, I made another application. It was also rejected. On the basis, already there was a finding, Kerubo should not have legal representation in the said proceeding. That would have passed under the old constitution, according to Kangati, but things have changed with the new constitution. Article 50 sub Article 7 states that victims of incidents and complainants are entitled to legal representation in any court or quasi-judicial proceedings. The two lawyers have since sought the intervention of the Law Society of Kenya. Subsequent to receiving that letter, we did write to the chairperson of the tribunal asking him to explain to, to us uh, the rationale or the reasoning behind excluding uh, legal representation by Kerubo, whom we consider to be a complainant, although technically speaking, he's not a complainant. He's not a complainant. The tribunal is yet to respond. You're complaining about exclusion, but are you sure that the other side is also is represented or they've also been locked out? Yes, we are very certain, 100% sure. There are three lawyers who are representing Nancy Baraza, three lawyers. In fact, one of them is a very prominent lawyer in this town. So you would imagine that uh, he would really cross-examine our client. So therefore, without legal representation, our client may be overwhelmed. There is no legal back backing for, for the tribunal to allege or to, to hold that uh, Kerubo does not require legal representation. Kerubo has attended the proceedings twice without an advocate. She, however, informed her lawyers that it appears the tribunal appointed the public prosecutor to act on her behalf. In, a, in either a court system or a quasi-judicial system, you cannot elect for a citizen or an individual the kind of legal representation he requires or she requires. We are saying without any fear that there is procedural injustice. The determination of the tribunal, which is expected to rule on whether Baraza is guilty of misconduct or not, and therefore should be sacked or reinstated, has a heavy bearing on Kerubo as well. Because the consequences of those proceedings, Kerubo can use them in a civil suit. Kerubo originated the proceedings probing Baraza, following claims that Baraza pinched her nose and threatened to shoot at her. This allegedly because she demanded to carry out a security check on Baraza at the village market shopping mall in Nairobi on New Year's Eve. The tribunal comprises Agostino Stephen Lawrence Ramadan, a former Chief Justice of Tanzania, as chairman, and Judith Mbula Bahemuka, retired Justice Philip Ransley, Surinda Kapila, Buta Alukhava Siganga, Grace Barbara Ngele Madoka, and Mugambi Jesendwiga Kanywa as members. Sylvia Chabit, Citizen Weekend.